Hey everyone, I'm Sabine and welcome to my channel where I post art videos. Today we're going to be painting this sketch while I tell you about myself so you can get to know me better. Well, this is going to be awkward because I hate talking about myself, but I've wanted to do one of these Meet the Artist sketches for a while now, and I thought maybe my viewers would like to get to know me. So I'm going to tell you all about myself while you watch me paint. For this piece, I used Micron pens for the lines and watercolor to fill in the rest. I also want to preface things by saying that I don't normally work on hot pressed watercolor paper, but that's what I'm using in the video. I don't like the way the paint sits on the paper and I think the color looks a little funny, but I'm trying it anyway. This is also a spread in one of my sketchbooks that I'm trying to fill up for my sketchbook challenge, so I'm multitasking. But enough about art, let's talk about the person behind the curtain. I'm Sabine. I live in Sudbury, Ontario, which is in Canada. I've also lived in Toronto, and I have traveled a lot. The first fun fact about me is that I've been to five out of seven of the world's continents. You can try guessing which ones I haven't been to yet. I want to visit all seven at some point in my life. There's just so many places I want to travel. Where are you from? Let me know in the comments. It's always fun to see where everyone is from. I live in the bush. That's Canadian for the wilderness, so I live in the middle of nowhere. It's both wonderful and challenging. We regularly get deer and other wildlife in our backyard. It's nice and quiet. It's peaceful here. But having a social life can be difficult. My friends don't like visiting because I live too far and I have to drive everywhere when I want something. Next fun fact, I'm super accident prone to the point where I no longer allow myself to play contact sports or do anything that might be remotely dangerous. I've broken at least four major bones in my body. I did not get an exact count for my ribs, so I can't give you a final number. Other major injuries include head trauma and a subluxation of my kneecap, which is a type of dislocation. I don't know if I'm uncoordinated or just plain unlucky, but I'm trying to stay out of trouble. Our next fun fact is that my mom is an artist, so I grew up with an artist in the house. And I think that had a weird effect on my own progress as an artist. On the one hand, I had easy access to materials and knowledge, and my parents always encouraged me to be creative. But on the other hand, living in a small community pre-internet age, there was not a lot of opportunities for artists, and I saw this firsthand with my mom, and I internalized it growing up. It's funny because the first job I ever had was selling my art. I had a business where I painted animals on rocks, and it was fairly successful for an after-school job. But even though I had some success with that, and with selling my artwork as I got into high school, I also saw how hard it was and how limiting it could be. I was also blessed, or perhaps cursed, depending how you look at it, with being very academic. And so in the end, I was pushed to pursue anything but art. Art was not a career option, and besides, I was smart and therefore going to university, whether I liked it or not. And I did get accepted to university, and I earned scholarships that got me there. But my options were pretty much to pursue science or engineering, so I chose science. I hated it, naturally. I struggled a lot in university, until halfway through my third year, I couldn't see myself doing what I was doing every day for the rest of my life. And so I made the decision to drop out. It was a huge, life-altering decision at the time, but it was the right one. And I wish I had made it sooner. I didn't know what I was going to do after that, but I got the idea to go to school for graphic design. Of course, by the time I'd figured all this out, all the deadlines had passed for college applications, so I applied to any school that took late applications. 
there is a process for that, and I went through it with a few schools and got accepted at George Brown College. I really enjoyed my graphic design education. It was creative work, and I could actually see a real job at the end of the tunnel. I finally graduated school and ended up working in my field. I got to do all sorts of cool jobs where I got to create things, and it was very rewarding. I had a full-time job until the recession hit. After that, I couldn't get back into full-time work, and I was really struggling to get contract work for a while. So I decided to move out of Toronto and back to Sudbury to save money. And I'm still here, years later. That's the nutshell version of my life. Honestly, I had to think about how much detail I wanted to go into, and I kept it pretty simple for you guys. I just wanted to mention that there's so many more things going on in the background, and my path was not so linear as I might have made it out to be. My goals moving forward are to keep working on my various art projects. I have my sketchbook challenge, I'll put the link to that video in the cards and at the end of this one, and I'm also working on a comic as well. I'm also excited about YouTube. I'm having fun making videos, and I think I've finally got things figured out now, so I'm hoping to have a more regular upload schedule. I'm aiming to upload every Friday. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe, and if you hit that little bell icon beside the subscribe button, you'll get notifications when my new videos go up. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it wasn't intensely boring like I'm afraid it is. If you did like it, then hit the like button and we'll see how many people actually enjoyed listening to me talk about myself. Anyway, now that this is out of the way, I have lots of ideas for fun videos starting next week. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.